Now, G7 leaders, including the Prime Minister, will hold an urgent video conference at 1 o'clock. Um, well, it's 1 o'clock GMT, so what's that? 2 o'clock UK time today to talk about the escalating war in Ukraine and, of course, the change it's had on gas prices. Well, this comes, of course, as Russia's aerial strikes continue today in Ukraine, with air raid sirens being sounded across the country. 19 people have now been confirmed dead, more than 100 injured, and the UN met overnight to discuss the escalating situation. Well, the former head of the British Army, Lord Richard Janet, Dannett, joins us in the studio. Um, good to see you this morning. Uh, what are we to make of this video conference that's going to take place this afternoon? I mean, th clearly, they're thinking they've got, to, they've got to look at this again now in the face of what could be escalating trouble from yeah. Russia. Yes, I think it's a very positive sign that the G7 leaders are, are coming together. Um, what's really important is that the solidarity of the West is maintained and the commitment to supply Ukraine with all that they need. And frankly, we're in here for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Putin has got to be defeated. The Ukrainians are showing enormous uh, grit, determination and drive on the battlefield. And even attacks such as yesterday, I think it only strengthens the Ukrainian population's will to win. Yeah. And um, that's what we really need to support them doing. So, you know, well done, Liz Truss, well done, the other G G7 uh, leaders for getting together. They must stand together, and particularly Uncle Sam, the Americans, must continue to supply the high-tech weapons at the rate they are, and possibly even more. Oh. Um, interesting, because President Zelensky yesterday was saying that the Russians were specifically targeting two things, people now and infrastructure, and that what they really want is um, air defence, some sort of missile defence strategy. Now, you talk about Uncle Sam. They've promised this, and mm. it's still not arrived. That urgency now, as it seems to be changing and shifting towards more missile attacks, uh, stronger than ever. Yes, there's a, there is a very good case to, to get on with it and provide uh, air defence. Um, again, it's difficult to know where, where truth actually lies, but the Ukrainian Air Force claims it knocked down 43 of the 80-odd or so missiles that came in yesterday. That may be over-reporting. So they have got some degree of air defence already. But frankly, technology does exist that can knock down these cruise missiles. I mean, they're quite large things. Mm. And therefore, um, it, to promise it is one thing, but actually to get those equipments in place is really, really important. But, you know, <clears throat> this hasn't been a, a one-way ride for Putin. Uh, I saw a message from a contact yesterday to say that ultra-nationalists on the right wing of Putin... Um, are really angry with him for spending $200 million yesterday on hitting meaningless targets. Mm. So when President Zelensky said they were focusing on people and energy, I think this was pretty indiscriminate. Mm. It mm. just shows that they haven't got the degree of technology, the, the accuracy that now the Ukrainians have got mm. with their high Mars missiles, for example. But